this is Mercedes, and thanks for tuning in to Frameless Media. Tonight, we are discussing the new docuseries, uh, BMF, Blowing Money Fast, executive produced by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, premiered this Sunday um, on the Stars Channel, and I must say, it's so far so good. Um, I'm really liking what I'm seeing, and I'm, I'm pretty much hyped up to see uh, what the docuseries brings. But um, episode one, pretty much just a history lesson of Detroit. It talks about the family, um, Big Meech and Terry's family moving to Detroit and basically just how everything got started. And one thing about the docuseries that you will uh, see in here, you will uh, see his mom. Uh, we got a chance to see his sister, some uh, childhood friends, uh, people that might have been associated or just around BMF at the time. Um, and even get a glimpse of uh, White Boy Rick. Um, he, he makes his little appearance on there, too. So, um, like I said in the beginning, it talks about Detroit. We see, the, uh, we see the success of the auto industry is booming. You know, there's creating jobs. Black people are moving to Detroit, buying homes. Uh, the kids going to nice schools. But we also see, um, as years progress, the decline of Detroit. And we also, as we go into the 60s, you start seeing a lot of the racial tension, uh, protests, and also the race riots that was going on, which also uh, pretty much added to the decline of Detroit as well. Um, so the family uh, pretty much starts to move in around 1968, 1969, which they're kind of coming in on the tail end of when Detroit is just further declining. So. Um, Basically, the scene opens where we see Lucille, that's uh, Big Meech's uh, mom, looking through a photo album. She's reminiscing. Um, we're, we're also seeing glimpses of childhood photos and pics of them as children. And she also, I like the fact that uh, they're, they're allowing her to speak and tell her truth and her opinion on everything. Like, she feels that... Um, her kids got mixed up in the crime and selling drugs due to the fact of, of them seeing other kids their age with the flashy cars, the flashy jewelry, and also the fact that um, Lucille and her husband Charles having to go through a divorce, having to split up, um, might have added to that too because uh, Meech felt like he had to step up and be the man of the house. And um, also while we listen to her, we do, uh, we do hear Meech's voice. Um, they added some of the recordings to kind of help narrate the story, which I thought was pretty neat. And we also get to hear from his sister, Nicole. So um, I'm liking what, what I see. Like, they, the layout was perfect. Like, you know, give us the history lesson of Detroit and they ease their way um, talking about how the family moved to Detroit and just all the changes that they had to go through. Um, they also mentioned the dad, Charles, um, how uh, Charles and Lucille – Yes, they loved each other, but love was not enough to keep them together because finances is what pretty much broke their family apart. Just not having it. And um, Lucille was talking about how there were times she just had to make it work. Just had to make it work. And um, that was just one of the things that drove them apart. And they do, uh, we do see some of the childhood friends, people that have been around BMF telling the story and telling them how they got um, got into the game and how it changed for them. Like they they pretty much were just tired of being poor. They wanted they wanted to make money. And then once that money started coming in, they they started dressing the part, buying the cars. That's how everything they got involved into that. Um, but the series I will I will say like it starts off very good. Um, the only thing that I did not like is that it does not last long. It's really only 30 minutes. That's it. It was just 30 minutes. It started getting really, really good towards like the last 10 minutes of the docuseries, but they left it on a cliffhanger. And um, now you got to tune in for the next, you know, next Sunday for the next uh, episode. So um, also, too, they do mention, um, they do even mention how, um, like, as they became successful, of course, with success, you got jealousy. So they ended by talking about uh, Layton. I think that's his name, Layton. But in the series, if you watch uh, the actual BMS series, we see uh, Layton as Lamar. They talk about how crazy he was, how he would dress. He was dressing a certain way, just doing crazy stuff. 
And um, me just got to the point where he got tired. He was just like, you know, I'm going to have to stand up to this guy at some point. And it kind of ends there. Like, I wanted more. Like, you know, I want to hear more about the story. But, um, we, of course, we got to tune in for episode two. But the only thing that I didn't like was just it doesn't last long. I was expecting, like, 60 minutes. But I'm just wondering if they're having to break it down into smaller segments to make, you know, to kind of extend the docuseries a little bit. But, um, but so far, so good. Um, the only other thing that I would change to about this docuseries, I think it's a little, I feel like the timing is a little off because they should have premiered this, uh, right after, right after season one. Cause once season one ended, people enjoyed it. They wanted more of it. I feel like after it ended, like with the finale of season one, they probably should have showed the docuseries maybe a week or two weeks later to kind of keep people entertained. But I get the timing of this because it's now, what, October? We're going into November. By the time this docuseries is over with, then January we'll have season two of BML. So I get the timing of I just feel like if I was doing this, I probably would have did the docuseries immediately after season one to keep people entertained, just to kind of keep it going. And also, it explains a lot of things. I feel like the docuseries would explain more. So when you're looking back at season one, we can kind of tell, like, okay, Lamar must be latent. And that's, you know, because they might have had to change some of the names since they're doing the series. But so far, so good. But um, that's my take on the docuseries so far. It was pretty short, but very well. Um, it was uh, presented very well. I like the fact that they're using actual people and allowing them to talk and tell the story and not just somebody else telling the story. Um, we get to hear their side and their point of view. I like the fact they included the mom. The mom is participating. Nicole is in the series. The sister is there. Um, hopefully, we get to see little Meech. Maybe he comes later on in the series. Hopefully, he participates. But um, just tuning in. Uh, we'll have to tune in for episode two to see what it um what they present next time. So, but let me know your thoughts on BMF. Um, are you guys looking forward to BMF season two? Because I am, and I do plan on reviewing the series, but um, if you are fans, uh, make sure you mark your calendar to January, 2023, the season is starting. So, but thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys uh, next week. Bye.